dip them in the water for a few minutes. No. Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki and today's video I have a copycat takeout meals at home. They're meant to be more filling options, lower point or lower calorie on WW. I think honestly maybe higher in protein or maybe like the same but I just try to make lightened up versions at home that are convenient for us. They use the ingredients that we already have at home and it helps us when we are craving takeout because both Adam and I crave takeout a lot. Before we started our weight loss journey we used to eat it one to two times a day and so we have a lot of favorites that we like to try to recreate at home for less points. So if you enjoyed this video or find it helpful please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. So the things that we are making today. Like I said they're not meant to be like exact copycats because we are just going for like a lightened up version but they are meant to be similar to satisfy that craving like I said. So today we're making three of some of the things that we would order if we did get fast food, but I'm going to try to make them lighter points. So first thing that we're making is going to be a sausage biscuit from McDonald's. We're going to do the sausage egg and cheese biscuit, and we're going to make a biscuit out of two ingredient dough, but I'm actually going to kind of mix it up. So I guess it'll be three ingredients. I'm going to do one and a third cup of flour, three quarter cup of non-fat Greek yogurt, and then I'm going to do a quarter cup of this almond cashew macadamia nut milk. So just any milk that you want to use, but I'm going to use this one. And I'm hoping that it'll be a little bit lighter and not as dense as like when we make the two ingredient dough bagels when it's just the Greek yogurt and the flour. I also add a teaspoon of baking powder because I don't use self-rising flour. I use all-purpose flour. So I'm going to go ahead and just make those. I'm going to make the dough and then portion them out into four even servings. That way each biscuit will be four points on WW. Then I actually did this ahead of time, but I recently got this on Amazon. It's just like a silicone baking mat that you can make eggs in. So this was my first time using it. Like I said, I just got it. So we tested out three different ways to make the eggs. I did one that was like half mixed, I guess, and that's how these turned out. Then I did two that were fully mixed through and then two that were not mixed at all. So I just baked those at 350 for 20 minutes and they came out perfect. Those will be the eggs on our sandwich and these will be zero points for us because they're zero points on WW. Then they also come with cheese if you order them with cheese. So we're going to be using light Swiss today. We prefer this on our breakfast sandwiches and we think it'll be really good on the egg sandwich. Of course, you could use any other light cheese option you have, but we get this from Trader Joe's. It's two points for a slice, 50 calories, and seven grams of protein. And then the last thing that I'm missing is the sausage. So today we're using the Applegate Savory Turkey Sausages. These are just breakfast sausage patties. One patty is 50 calories and only one point. So I'm pretty much just going to toss these in the microwave and actually they're the perfect size. So toss them in the microwave, then I'll just combine them with the egg, the cheese, and then the biscuits after they're done baking in the oven. So usually a McDonald's biscuit, sausage, egg, and cheese sandwich is 21 points on WW. This one today is going to be 7 points. So it is a third of the points. It's going to be just as filling, probably more filling than the one that you would get from McDonald's. It'll be a good size because the two ingredient dough biscuit should be a decent size for a quarter of the dough. So you could pretty much have three of these sandwiches for the same as going and getting one from McDonald's. And that's why we like to do this at home because we can come up with much more filling ways to have the same foods that we like. It really does satisfy that same craving when we find similar foods like this. Then the next thing that I'm going to be making is Auntie Anne's. So I love Auntie Anne's. The ones I make at home aren't exactly like the ones you get in store because I do like to use the two ingredient dough, but they satisfy that craving for them. I love any type of pretzel, so it's always just a good option to make these at home. The difference in points between the two isn't huge. It's always surprising to me that the 16 ounce container of Auntie Anne's nuggets is only 13 points on WW. But when I make this, I'm pretty much going to make 10 bites for each of us because that's about how many you get in the cup. And I'm going to make just a normal batch of two ingredient dough. So I'm going to do one and a third cup of all purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and then one cup of nonfat Greek yogurt. I'm going to mix it together and then weigh it out into equal portions just using my food scale. So however many grams it'll be, say it'll be like 20 grams of pretzel, then I'll go ahead and weigh them out, portion those out, and then I'm just going to shape them into little nuggets. While I'm shaping them into nuggets, I'm going to have a pot boiling on the stove with about six cups of water and then two tablespoons of baking soda. And that's just going to be for the quick bath that we're going to dip the pretzels in. So you just use like a slotted spoon, dip them in the water for like 15 seconds, pull them out, put them on a tray. And I'm going to be using this for the first time. This is a ghee cooking spray, which ghee is just like a clarified butter. 
So I'm hoping that it has a good butter flavor to it. It's just zero points because it's just like a quick spray of it. So I'm just gonna quickly spray over the pretzels and then top them with the salt and then pop them in the oven at 400 degrees. And those are just gonna be a good salty snack that, like I said, they're similar to Auntie Anne's. They satisfy the craving and it's just a good, maybe more filling and lighter option because it has the Greek yogurt in it. I'm also gonna try to mix in some of this movie theater butter salt to the dough when I make it to see if that gives it a little bit more of a buttery, salty flavor. Then the last thing that we're gonna be having is nachos. So we used to order nachos all the time from a restaurant called Colonial Cafe. They actually closed down or by us. I think they have other locations around the world. I'm not honestly sure, but we used to always get their nacho appetizer and it was like chili on nachos with cheese. So good. We got it every time we went there. And so that's what we're gonna be remaking at home. And we tried to look it up on WW. We couldn't find the actual Colonial Nutrition. We couldn't find it online either. So we just looked up some other nachos and any restaurant nachos very similar like chili nachos they range from 50 to like 90 points they are very high point they're loaded with a bunch of ingredients it's greasy we want to make a lighter version at home that's just as filling if not more filling and lower points so what we're going to be doing is using these el ranchero chips i just prefer these i think they taste the most like restaurant chips and i just always really like them you can have 15 of them for five points so that's what i'm going to be doing and we're each going to have our own platter of nachos so we're going to do like two different foils lay out the tortilla chips and then i have chili that i prepped for us earlier this week so it's turkey chili it's one point for the serving that i'm going to use for each of us and i'm just going to pour the chili on it then i'm going to go ahead and use some light mexican blend shredded cheese i'll sprinkle that on top for three points each and then I'm going to toss that in the oven to bake just for a little bit. I already have the oven at 400 for the two ingredient dough. So I can just pop it in there and maybe cook it for like 10 to 15 minutes. Then when we pull it out, I'm going to put some shredded lettuce just like they do. We actually looked up the menu to see what exactly was on the nachos. And this is everything that they had. So also some sour cream. I'm just going to use this Daisy Light sour cream. It's one point for one tablespoon. Adam's going to use some avocado mash. This is two points for the whole cup. And then I also made us some restaurant style salsa. So that's the other thing that they have on it. And this is just made from canned tomatoes, cilantro, onion, jalapeno, and that's pretty much it. I just make it in the blender and that's zero points for us. So we'll top it with that and those will be our nachos. So like I said, they're anywhere from like 40 to 90 points and ours at home are gonna be 10 points and you'll see how big the serving is. So let's go ahead and get started.
Okay, guys, so I brought Adam over to help me try everything <laughs> that I just made. He's excited. I I'm excited. Very, I'm very excited. We have our sausage biscuits. So, first of all, these actually turned out like biscuits. It's funny because the bottom looks like an English muffin, but this looks more like a biscuit, and I think they seem a little bit fluffier than the normal two-ingredient dough. So, we're going to try these. Then we have the Auntie Anne's pretzels, which also turned out really nice. I wanted to make sure they got nice and golden on the bottom, but they also started to get nice and golden on the top. And then I have to put on the glove for this, but we have our big tray of nachos. So this one's Adam's with the guacamole. This is mine with the sour cream. And we're gonna go ahead and try everything. So I say we start with breakfast, yeah? Yeah. So yeah, these eggs turned out perfect. We did the fully mixed egg for this one. Uh, we'll see how it is, ready? Cheers. Cheers. Okay, first of all, the egg's perfect. Yes. The sausage is perfect for yes. it. Yes. And it does taste kind of like a biscuit. And they're they're like fluffy like biscuits. They really... I can't believe that the cashew milk actually made that much of a difference. Right? Okay, I'm taking another bite. Same. It really is a good, like, biscuit. Like, it definitely is different. You definitely taste the Greek yogurt like normal. <laughs> I want to finish it right now. I know. Well, we have more things to try. That is so. way better than McDonald's. That's way better than the Jimmy Dean ones I eat. Right. Oh my gosh. It's not as greasy. And this is something I could actually prep you, prep yes. for you to bring to work. Yes. How many points was it? So this entire sandwich is seven points. Usually if you get this from McDonald's with the cheese, it's 21. So. And the Jimmy Dean one is eight. So. True. And this is much more, I feel like this is going to be more filling. Huge. Way bigger. Too. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to go ahead and try the Auntie Anne's pretzels. I usually get these plain. Uh, Adam likes to get the cinnamon ones, but sorry we did these today. It's all good. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, they have the perfect crunch to them because sometimes even the Auntie Anne's ones are soggy. They're so salty the and buttery. And it's so fluffy on the inside. I actually think putting this in the dough made such a difference. I think so. It made it so much saltier and more buttery. It, t you, it like tastes so buttery too. That is really good. Those, I, they're not greasy like the Auntie Anne's ones can get because yeah. like, they're just sitting in butter. Like those are so good. Those have a really good crunch. Those honestly would be good in a cheese sauce. We should make the cheese cup from... 815 Eats and dip the cheese in it. Yep. Those are really good. I need to make these more because they really are simple to throw together. Okay. That was so wow. good. Now let's go ahead and try the nachos, which okay. we're just going to leave it on the counter and yeah. grab a nacho. Okay, so here's mine. Oh, it's dripping oh, my I got cheese. Some <laughs> got a hanging little lettuce. <laughs> Ready? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Chili belongs on nachos. It's so good on Seriously. nachos. Seriously. That's so good. And baked. Right? That's the second time we've done baked nachos and they're so Yeah. Good. This whole tray is only 10 points, which... And we'll, we'll each eat our own portion here. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Lot. It's going to be messy, but that turned out really good. And so then ta it tastes... Honestly, it tastes so much like the colonial ones, it's actually. Really nice. I think it's it's just the chili on there. Like, honestly, chili yeah. nachos, it, it tastes like restaurant. And I know you could add pulled pork, and we used to do that sometimes, too. So we could even add, like, a chicken or a pork to mm -hmm. it or, like, a, any type of meat. Definitely. Okay, well... Favorite thing... I don't even know. Honestly, I'm surprised to say this, but I think that this might be I was going to say it too. Yeah. Probably because <laughs> we've had the nachos a lot. But still. This is really good. And I'm honestly really happy with that silicone egg baking tray. That made it so much easier. I just had to crack them in there. Uh, the ones that I mixed all the way, I mixed first and then just poured them in. So I just had a bowl that I kept like switching out. But oh, so I really good. like the anti ends too. And mm. the nachos. Everything. Everything's so good. Right. I hope you guys found this video helpful. <laughs> like I said, they're not exact copycat recipes, but very similar. They still satisfy that craving, and they're seriously like half the points, a third of the points, and so filling. So filling. <laughs> yeah, so I hope you guys try these out. If you do, let me know, and thank you for watching. We really have a lot of fun doing these, especially these, because we take our fast food seriously. Yes. So hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it, and we will see you next time.